and over here we have the clock generator as you can see always near to the clock generator you will find an crystal oscillator as you can see crystal oscillator so this ic is charged to give the clock or the synchronization for the whole motherboard here in the left as you can see here we have pages and in the right this is the discrepancy as you can see so here for example in page number five we have the dc and battery changes so basically the circuit change between the dc or the adapter and the battery so when the adapter is connected the battery will stop powering up the motherboard and when the adapter is removed when the adapter is removed the battery will be charged to power the computer motherboard okay here in page six we have select and battery connect okay select and battery connect so basically here you will find the battery connector pin configuration or the battery connector pinouts here in page seven we have the system power three volt and five volt basically this is one of the main important circuit in every motherboard okay so in page number eight we have the system power plus 1.8 volt and 1.5 volt basically these voltages are for chipsets and ram okay so 1.8 volt is the working power for the the ram the ddr2 ram okay and 1.5 volt is a voltage for chipsets like GMCH or North Bridge and the South Bridge or ICH. So as you can see here in page 9 we have the system power plus VCCP and plus 2.5 volt basically for the CPU or processor GMCH and ICH. Okay so here we have the cpu power vcc core in page 10 basically this is the working voltage for the cpu or for the central processing unit vcc core as you can see here in page 11 we have plus 0.9 volt this is the vtt okay the vtt or the ram vtt basically this is the power for the ram okay basically the ram has two kind of power the main power here we have 1.8 volt and the half of 1.8 volt is 0.9 volt the power for ram terminals okay so basically here the type of ram is ddr2 here in page 12 we have the power slip basically here we'll find the circuit for the power slip okay and here page 13 we have the power sequence okay here of course in page 14 we have the clock generator the ic that is charged to generate the clock or the timing for the whole circuit in the motherboard so without this clock the circuits or the component in the motherboard cannot work properly so here as you can see we have the cpu as you can see and over here we have the clock generator as you can see always near to the clock generator you will find an crystal oscillator as you can see crystal oscillator so this ic is charged to give the clock or the synchronization for the whole motherboard okay the whole circuit in the motherboard here as you can see in another motherboard we have the clock generator as you can see basically always near to it we have a crystal oscillator near to it as you can see then from page as you can see 15 to page 18 we have una basically this is the processor or the cpu as you can see we will find the circuit diagram for this kind of cpu in these pages so page 15 16 17 and 18 so in page 19 we have the thermal and fan control basically here this is the fan control ic we'll find an ic of course 
with eight pins that control the speed of the fan okay so based on the temperature of the cpu the this control will control the speed of the fan okay so as you can see here basically this is the gmc h or the north bridge the calistoga as you can see from page 20 to page 24 as you can see this is the north bridge always the north bridge is near to the cpu in the motherboard here we have the ddr2 this is the ram or the random access memory as you can see here we have ddr2 in page 25 26 and 27 so here in page 28 we have the crt and s video connector basically here in page 28 and 29 we have just two video connectors like crt s video connector and lcd connector so these connectors are connected to the north bridge or to the graphic card so here this is ICH input output control hub or the south bridge as you can see in page 25 we have the usb2 the usb2 hub okay